Hey guys, it's Winter Soldier. I'm here to bring you a marksmanship guide for 7.0.3. I know it can be a little confusing. We're up to four whole buttons now, but uh, we're going to work through this together. Starting with talents. Your talents as a marksmanship hunter should be as follows. You take Lone Wolf in almost every situation. You can take Careful Aim if it's a single target only fight, but the talents are so close damage wise, you should just take Lone Wolf because Lone Wolves are cooler anyways. Second row, you're going to take Lock and Load. Why would you want to pick any of these two? This one's boring as shit, and this one's hard to manage. This row doesn't matter, right? You take Patient Sniper in this row, obviously, because you're a marksman, and sniping goes together with marksmen. That's, uh, come on, you're not going to take Explosive Shot. That's a skill shot, and we all know hunters don't have any skill. This row doesn't matter. You're going to take Barrage, because obviously, how else are you going to wipe the whole raid by pulling more than they bargained for? And you're going to take Sidewinders, uh, because you can shoot snakes out of your bow. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. You know, you might be saying, but what about these? Do they do good damage? No, not really, because you're not shooting snakes out of your bow. Alright, so if you need to, to write these down, pause the video, because we're moving on. Right? Next most important thing for hunters is your stats. So, stats in 7.0.3 for marksmanship hunters are as follows. First, you want to look at weapon damage. The more damage your weapon does, the more damage your shots are going to do. Go figure. Next, you want to look at agility. That's the hunter's main stat. Hmm. Seems like a no-brainer to me. Next you want mastery. You know why you want mastery? Because mastery is your sniper training. And sniper training does a shit ton of damage when it stacks with your mastery. I'm missing a glove. There we go. So the more mastery you have, the more damage all your shots does. And the more damage all your shots do, the more damage you're going to do. Here we go. Next up is haste. The way haste works is it increases your auto attacks, it increases your aim shots, and it increases your barrage. So it's all around good. The more auto shots you get, the more chances of sidewinders you get, the more chances of sidewinders you get, the more damage you do overall. Not rocket science. Alright, so weapon damage, agility, mastery, haste, and you might be thinking, Winner, what about all the other stats? Yeah, well, who gives a shit about the other stats? If a piece of gear drops with the other stats, pack it up and go home, because you're done. Don't roll on that shit. That's for Shaman. Alright, so that's our stat priority. Now, let's take a look at some of our skills. We got Sidewinders, which is has a chance to proc marking shots, which has a chance, well, which will automatically put Hunter's Mark on the target, which is good. We want that. It also applies Vulnerability, or Vulnerable Debuff, which is a 6 second debuff that increases our damage by 150% on our Mark Shots and our Aim Shots. Guess what else applies Vulnerable? Mark Shot. So, what you want to do, generally, is you want to proc your Sidewinders here. It's going to glow yellow. That's usually a pretty good indication that it's time to hit it. So, yellow glowing Sidewinders, we're going to shoot snakes at the target. We're going to get in at least one aim shot in this vulnerable window, right? We're going to hit our mark shot, which applies vulnerable again for six seconds. And then we're going to dump our focus on aim shots. So you've got a 12 second window to do as much damage to that motherfucker as you possibly can. And that's how you play Hunter in the pre-patch. So, next, that's just the basic rotation, right? We got some spells on top of that. We got true shot, which is our three minute cooldown that's essentially just rapid fire that has that will always apply hunter's marks for the first 15 seconds and we got barrage which is our strongest move in the game right so what you want to do on a typical opener for a raid pull would look something like this we've got our rep we've got our true shot we've got my racial as a troll and then you pop a potion so you would do you would ideally have these macroed but i'm kind of scum so you got these popped right you auto attack, hit, you empty your barrage. Sidewinders procs, we're gonna hit that. We're gonna get at least one aim shot in. We're gonna get mark shot, and we're gonna dump our focus on aim shots. Then this proc again, so we're gonna hit sidewinders, aim shot again, mark shot again, and dump our focus on aim shots. Now we got barrage coming off cooldown, so we're gonna hit that as soon as we got the focus. Then we're gonna sidewinders, we're gonna spend our lock and load procs. We're going to mark shot, and we're going to aim sh dump our focus on aim shot. Then we're going to sidewinders, then we're going to aim shot, then we're going to mark shot, then we're going to dump our focus on mark on aim shot. Then barrage is off cooldown, so we're going to hit that. 
Now you might notice that my sidewinders hasn't procced, which is good. If you reach two stacks of sidewinders and it still isn't glowing yellow, you still need to hit it. Because we it could be recharging in that window, and it would be a waste of time to not hit it. So let me just go over that one more time. The only two times you ever hit sidewinders is if that thing is glowing yellow, like that, or if it's not glowing yellow and it's reached two stacks. Right? Don't ever hit it when it's just like this. That's that's not it's not helping you, it's not helping anybody. Just leave it. Right? So it still hasn't procced for me, but now it just hit two, so I would hit it anyways. And that's the basic rotation, guys. It's, it's super simple stuff. <coughs> Your highest priority is to keep true shot on cooldown and to keep cool barrage on cooldown. Then you just weave in between your sidewinders, your aim shots, and your mark shots. Now, one thing you might be thinking, the intelligent ones of you, is, but Winter, barrage doesn't benefit from vulnerable. It's only aim shot and mark shot. Well, I have it on good authority from Asthorian and the guys over at Icy Bane that you should use barrage on cooldown no matter what. Uh, and if you want the, the written version of this guide, go check out Icy Veins. They're a great source for any class. So you want to use Barrage whenever it's available, and you want to make sure that you've got the focus to do it, because it does a ton of damage. If we come over here and we look at my Scada from when we've just been dicking around, Barrage is my highest percent damage by a pretty decent margin. And that's, I mean, you might be saying, yeah, there's two targets. Well, Mark Shot hits two targets, but you don't see it doing as much damage as Barrage, right? Even that's with the plus 150% vulnerability. So Barrage is a super important ability. So, when my cooldown's reset, I'll show you what a real pull would look like for you at the beginning. Minus the potion, because I'm not wasting potions on you guys. But, outside of your vulnerable windows, you don't want to be spending it very much focus. Alright, so let's say the raid cooldown is at 5, right? We pop these, pull starts, we auto attack, straight into a barrage. And we sidewinder, I'm gonna get in two aim shots, and a mark shot, and I'm gonna dump my focus on aim shots. Then sidewinders, aim shot, mark shot, dump my focus on aim shots. Sidewinders, aim shot, mark shot, wait for barrage to come up, we're gonna hit barrage. Now we got sidewinders again, aim shot in there, mark shot, dump our focus on aim shots. And we got sidewinders, aim shot, mark shot, dump any focus we've got on that. I think you guys are starting to get the point, right? So now, some of you guys are like, but winner, I don't have my four piece and I can't attack that fast. Don't worry, I got you fam. So this is what kind of what the rotation is going to look like more in Legion, right? Because we're not going to have the four piece in Legion for for uh, instant auto shots, or aim shots rather. So what this is, this doesn't really change a whole lot. Let's say I pop my true shot, right? I pop my cooldowns, I'll start the pull over again. We're going to barrage, right? We're going to hit sidewinders. The only thing that changes is now your aim shot takes a couple of seconds. So maybe you only fit in one, right? That's okay. We're still going to be dumping all our focus on that, all right? Sidewinders hit two before it procced, so nothing you can do about that. I'm gonna dump an aim shot in there. I'm gonna get barrage off cooldown. I'm gonna sidewinders. I'm gonna probably only have time for one aim shot and a mark shot. And I'm gonna keep dumping my focus on aim shots. So the rotation doesn't really change, it's just a bit slower, right? So we're gonna have sidewinder, aim shot, get a second one in there, mark shot, barrage. Spend our lock and load procs, etc., etc. Right? Not too hard. Nothing changes if you're missing your four piece. It's actually not very good anymore. So, it just makes you take a couple seconds. Now, the cool thing about hunters is the only ability that we can't cast on the move is aim shot. So we can still barrage on the move. We can still sidewinders on the move. We can still mark shot on the move and lock and load proc aim shots on the move. The only thing we can't do is move and cast aim shot. So nothing really changes for us. Other than that, that's the basic rotation. You've got your interrupt still, counter shot. You've got an aspect of the turtle, which you can use to mitigate damage. And then when you're done taking damage, you want to click that off because you can't attack with it up. 
We got Aspect of a Cheetah for running real fast. And then your talents for survivability. Feign death, obviously. So, you know, nothing to it, guys. That's, uh, that's pretty much your, gonna be the guide for 7.0.3. Now, I know this is a new channel, and you don't really know what to expect from me, so I, I'm gonna let you know that uh, I'm probably gonna be focusing on Hunter a lot. Uh, it's the class that I know the best. It's a little underrepresented on YouTube, I think. And, uh, I'm gonna be real with you, unlike other YouTube personalities, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be writing class guides for every class, because, uh, I don't know how to play every other class, so... I can't bring you reliable information. Uh, there is there is two things I can promise you on this channel. One is I'm going to be sticking to content that I actually know how to play. And two is there's never going to be any shitty dubstep, alright? So if you like this video, feel free to give it a like and subscribe. Or not. I don't know. I'm not your mother. Do whatever you want. But thanks for watching.